Hey everybody. Hey look, I want to make a quick video here um, complimenting somebody but also talking about the importance of their work. And, uh, and this is a message going out to everyone who cares about moonshine, everyone who cares about how things are really supposed to be done. And this message is going out to um, anybody who knows the name of, watches the shows of, or is um, connected to Tim Smith. Tim is, in my mind, um, a hero. I'm just going to put it straight to you because Moonshine has been through the ringer. First of all, we had the problem of the actual, you know, anti-Moonshine rhetoric about going blind and, um, you know, tasting like, you know, lighter fluid and all that, all the bad things that, ba that basically um, brought us down. And that had to do with not only government stuff, but also people making mistakes and doing things wrong. You know, you keep all the heads and four shots into your stuff and you get a much higher proof product, you make more money, but you're poisoning people, right? And everybody that knows me and knows my videos and books and everything else out there has, no, no, you know, anytime that they've been to the Black Bear taking tours, the Black Bear Tour is like two or three hours long. It's like a legendary historical tour talking about this stuff. We try to reach everybody we can. You know, we have the culinary school. We have the videos and the, and the uh, websites and the tours and all that. But Tim is on a much bigger scale. You know, his, his uh, audience is much bigger. The show's on a big network. And his name is spreading like wildfire. And I am so happy. I am so happy for him, but also the moonshine world in general. We had that first hit, and then of course the fact that it's illegal, so we got a couple different hits. And then turning that legal was a big deal, and this was probably the worst hit of all. Was probably the first few products to hit the market. I don't know if you've had some of this stuff, but um, it's labeled moonshine, but it's not moonshine. It's a neutral grain spirit from a large production house, and people just did that to make money. God bless them. I, I want everybody to make money and be successful and happy. But the bottom line is the stuff that's in that jar is more like a cheap vodka than it is a moonshine. They took people's names, people that I know, um, and they put names, and they put counties, and they put, they put places. They put cultural, iconic things on those labels. They confused people. And I have been fighting this battle now almost 10 years. Seven years really loud and five or six years with the distillery backing me up legally. Um, I've been fighting this battle. And when everybody says to me, "Who out? who's out there that understands the truth or who out there is preaching the truth about this or who can we trust? And my answer is always Tim Smith. There's a bunch of other guys. I love everybody, but Tim is the one. He's our leader. He's the hero. Now, our families didn't necessarily know each other. Tim was from more up north. The Smiths were from up north. I had heard of them, but not much. Um, I, just like I heard of Barney, heard of Popcorn, all those guys, I knew of them. But we were in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Originally, um, the family was in the... Um, the Smoky Mountain area where the actual Blue Ridge Parkway is, that's where the original Brenniger Farm is at. Um, it's actually a National Historic Site now, um, but that's my grandfather's grandfather. That's 1889-ish. I think they bought the property 1874, but I know he was producing by the 1880s, 89 for sure. We've done archaeology on that site, so we know when the granary and... and um, all the different places like the spring house were finished. Anyway, um, the Smiths were more north than that. Um, folks in Tennessee we knew of, folks in Kentucky we knew of. I ended up being born actually in Kentucky. Um, but we, we are all a family and the product, Moonshine, which has such a strange and bizarre background and, and history and legend, it's an artisan product. It's people who care, making amazing stuff that they care about in a really great way. And we preach it all the time here, but out there in the world, 
the one who's leading the way in the truth and telling people what's really going on is Tim. Now, I don't know. I haven't met Tim yet. I'm sure I will soon. I know freaking everybody, so I'm sure I'm going to meet Tim sooner or later, and I'm going to give him a big handshake or a big hug and tell him uh, how much I appreciate him and how much we love him and um, how grateful we are for everything he's done for the moonshine world um, in all locations. But I tell you what, people just don't know. And the first step is education. The first step is telling people the truth about the culture, about what this really is, about how it's not that weird nonsense in that jar you bought, but it's real. It's, it, it's, it's a history. It's a culture. It's an artisan product that's beautiful. Um, everything he says in that show, Lord have mercy. I just sit there and sometimes I'm bawling and sometimes I'm laughing, but I am following every single word. He'll look at that still like in one of the episodes, there's a double, there's two doublers. And the first thing I thought was if they're running this thing twice, they're stripping this thing to, down. They're going to be having no flavor. Of course, the first thing he says is you guys are missing your grain flavor. It's not just like my grandpa. You got to taste what it's made from. Right? You got to taste the grain. You can't strip it down like that. It's not a neutral spirit. It's not vodka. It's not the base of gin. Right? You got to make something. I watch those shows just with my mouth hanging open because it's so much like my culture, like my family. And I agree. I just agree with everything. If you want my opinion, uh, Mr. You know, Master Chef PhD guy, if you want my opinion, Tim Smith is the real deal. He's the master among masters, and he's the one with the platform to really do some good in this world when it comes to people understanding what we're up to. So I applaud him and all of his people. I applaud the network for putting him out there, giving him the second show. And I instruct all of you, all of my followers, all the people who care about good moonshine and good whiskey and the history and the culture, um, all of you mountain folks, all of you city folks, I'm instructing all of you, watch all of Tim's shows, Moonshiners, but also the, 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 uh, the new one, oh man, my favorite one, which is uh, Whiskey Business. Uh, he also has a couple other offshoots. And don't think I hadn't, I'm t saying all this without trying his stuff, because I've tried his stuff. I went in like a pilgrimage and got some climax. And I tell you what, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It might be a little better than, than, than my family stuff, and that makes me sad to say, but uh, they're pretty close. I think if he, if he drank the stuff uh, that my family has been making, he'd be, he would recognize it, and he'd be pleased to have a drink. Uh, maybe I'll be able to pour him one one day. Anyway, uh, special props and shout-outs to the Smith family. God bless you all. And I want to say one last thing. I hope and pray that you get everything in the world, that your dreams come true, that you're blessed mightily from all directions, that your family is safe and sound and happy, and that you get a chance to do all you want to do and all your dreams come true. And that's my true wish and true prayer uh, for the Smith family. And um, I hope we see the same growth and the same blessings around here um god willing i love you guys thanks for playing and come see me at the black bear soon this is victor matthews signing off for now